back. Tonight, a startling admission from the Ohio Attorney General. The state has been secretly using your driver's license pictures in criminal investigations. Your pictures have been compared to suspects using facial recognition software. Facial recognition uh, can be useful in just uh, numerous scenarios. Uh, someone goes into a bank and is robbing that bank. And if the surveillance picture is good enough, um, then that can, could be compared um, to the BMV records. Since June, the software has been used nearly 2,700 times. Some privacy experts say the program should have been made public when it started in June. DeWine says he'll now have a panel of judges, prosecutors, and others look at whether enough is being done to protect your privacy. Nine on Your Side reporter Tony Moronis has more on how powerful that software can be. There's millions of faces across the state of Ohio. Now, law enforcement is using facial recognition in the name of fighting crime. I can understand if, you, yeah, if you're looking for serial killers or you know murderers and stuff, fine. But using if you're using it for for a little speed tickets and stuff like that, uh, that's going a little too far. The need seems to be understood. I really don't want that person to be able to just keep running free. At the same time, I don't want my privacy, you know. And interfered with so privacy or not we already volunteer our faces on social media sites and they show just how effective facial recognition technology can be here's an example on my facebook page i uploaded a picture with some colleagues from about 14 years ago facebook not only recognized faces but actually suggested tagging the right name to the face that's freaky fast this is a photo from the mid 70s from the uncle al show facebook picked out people's faces from more than 30 years ago and it was right. And then it had their name already. Yeah. Or they had that name, then it had that name. How are they supposed to know all that? As convenient as facial recognition is for Facebook, folks downtown get how it could work in the hands of law enforcement. If you think about some of the families that suffer from, uh, from the people that have committed crimes that they haven't caught yet, I think it's, I think it's good because um, you got to look at it from both, you got to look at it from both sides. Dodie Holton can see how it could affect her. So you could probably get connected to something, you know, that doesn't have anything to do with you. Tony Moronis, 9 on your side. That's pretty amazing stuff.